Hi, Father Angelo. I have some religious stuff relating to the church that's laying around the house that's been gathering for years. And I'm just wondering what's the proper way to dispose of it. I have a cross from Palm Sunday and then the leftover Palm stuff. And then from Holy Saturday, I have a bay leaf and I have some Q-tips from Holy Unction. What should I do with them? You know, Tasso, that's a really great question because I've had a lot of people ask me what to do with these items. And I know that even when I go home, my parents have these lying around and they don't know what to do with them. So with the items that you listed, it's pretty easy. Basically what we do is we just set them on fire. We just burn them. That's the quickest thing that we can do. I'm also going to put in this paper towel that I had that I used to wipe my hands on after I applied some holy oil. So if you have a napkin or a cotton ball like you get at Holy Unction, you can also include those items too. And now, carefully, let's set this all on fire and let's burn it all the way down to ashes. Now that it's all burned down, I want you to place it directly in the ground. So I don't want you to take the ashes and throw them in the trash can or, uh, or a dumpster or anything like that. So we're just gonna go out into the backyard and we're just gonna then sprinkle all of this right directly to the ground. What if you need to dispose of holy water? Well, it's really pretty simple. You can either drink it or you can pour it directly to the earth. If you've got a plant or a garden in the background, you can do that. Hey, Father, I, I found this cloth and it looks dirty. What do we do when we clean it? So what we're going to do with this is very simple. We're just going to wash this by hand. So we'll take the cloth and we'll go ahead and just add regular dish soap or laundry detergent or anything that you might have around the house. And we're going to put it in some type of bowl or a bucket or something like that, something that is clean. So not something that has other residue in it, like olive oil or, or maybe uh, paint or anything like that. We want it to be clean. And so then we're just going to take it and we're going to rinse it out several times. And then we're going to take it and we're going to rinse then in clean water several times, just as you would if you washed anything by hand. The only difference is that we're going to take both bowls, the soapy water and the clear water, and we're gonna go ahead and then dispose of them directly to the earth. So you probably can see in all of this, what we've done today, it's all gone directly to the earth, whether it's the ashes, the holy water, or the cleaning water that we used for this cloth.